Today we are breaking down this hilarious scene from Friends where Rachel and Monica fight over Phoebe's painting. As we watch the clip, we'll break down each sentence to learn key vocabulary and expressions. Let's go! Attends, je l'ai vendu à Joey. Wait, I sold it to Joey. Je l'ai vendu means I sold it. Note that the word order is different than in English. Je l'ai vendu is literally I it sold. The L apostrophe is short for le, which in this case translates to it in English. And et vendu means sold from the passé composé of the verb vendre, to sell. Altogether, she's saying, I sold it to Joey. Et moi, je lui ai dit qu'il était tenté. And I told him it was haunted. Je lui ai dit means I told him. The verb dire, to say or to tell, is conjugated in the passé composé. Hanté means haunted, from the ER verb hanté, to haunt. T'as pas le monopole de la sournoiserie. Two can play at that game. So the original English line was two can play at that game. But you can tell that the translation is actually quite different. Let's break it down. T'as pas is a shortened way of saying tu n'as pas. Tu a is contracted to ta and the ne is dropped. As you become more familiar with spoken French, you'll see that the ne is very often dropped in informal settings. Next, le monopole means the monopoly, and de la sournoiserie means of the slyness or of the cunning. Altogether, it's you don't have a monopoly on slyness, meaning you're not the only one who's allowed to be sly. Non, c'est trop tard, je peux pas le reprendre. No, it's too late, I can't take it back. Again, the French love shortening their phrases when talking casually. Technically, if you're speaking perfect French, you should say je ne peux pas, which means I cannot. But here, since it's a casual setting, they've shortened it to je peux pas. Because this usage only appears in casual spoken French, you probably wouldn't be able to learn it from a textbook. This is why I love learning languages with Fluent U. When you're watching a video on Fluent U, you can click on any word in the subtitles and see the definition and example sentences. But what's even more helpful is that you can watch video examples of how French speakers use the word, so you can learn the language as it's actually spoken by native speakers in France. Fluent U teaches you authentic French through French movies, TV shows, music videos, and more. And every video features interactive subtitles so you can learn while you watch. You can try Fluent U out for free by clicking the link in the description below. Now, let's get back to the original sentence. Je peux pas le reprendre, I can't take it back. Reprendre comes from the verb prendre, which means to take. The prefix re works just like in English, so it means to do something again. So reprendre means to take again or to take back. Si tu vas le faire. Yes, you can. You're going to do it. In English, you can only say yes or no. But in French, you actually have three options. Oui, non, and si. Si is said in response to a negative statement, to correct it and say, actually, yes. Here, Monica said, I can't take it back. So Rachel responds, si, meaning, yes, you can. Non, je peux pas, il est à toi. No, I can't, it's yours. To say yours or mine in French, you use the preposition à. So here, il est à toi means it is yours. Mine would be à moi. You can also use it with names or nouns. For example, you could say il est à Rachel or il est à mon père, etc. It's also good to pay close attention to the pronunciation here. Notice how they pronounce the final T in I. Il est à toi. Non, je peux pas, il est à toi. 
This T has to be pronounced because it comes before a vowel. This is called a liaison, which means link, because the consonant acts as a link, linking the two vowel sounds together. Mastering the use of liaison will make you sound like a native French speaker in no time. Les filles, les filles, girls, girls. Notice how in French you still use the article les even when you're just calling out to someone like here. Les filles is a very common phrase and the male equivalent is les gars, short for les garçons. For example, when you approach a group of friends, you might say ça va les gars or ça va les filles. Also note that the final R in gars is silent. By the way, I know that remembering all these new vocabulary words and pronunciation rules can be hard. So we've made you a free PDF so that you can study everything in this video. To download it, just click the link in the description below. Arrêtez, ça va plus être la peine de vous battre. Stop. There's not going to be any need for fighting. Let's break this down. C'est pas la peine means there's no need. But Phoebe is speaking in the future tense, le futur proche. So instead of saying si, it becomes ça va pas être la peine de vous battre. And on top of that, Phoebe doesn't use ne pas, but rather ne plus, meaning no longer or no more. Altogether, that's there is no longer going to be any need. A need for what? De vous battre, to fight each other. This comes from the reflexive verb se battre meaning to fight one another. A simpler translation for this sentence could be you don't need to fight over it anymore. Celle qui n'aura pas Gladys aura Glynis. <laughs> Celle qui n'aura pas Gladys aura Glynis. Whoever doesn't have Gladys will have Glynis. Celle is an example of a demonstrative pronoun. It basically means the one. In this case, the one who doesn't get Gladys. There are actually four demonstrative pronouns depending on number and gender. Celui, masculine singular. Celle, feminine singular. Ce, masculine plural. And celle, feminine plural. Here, Phoebe uses celle, which is the feminine version, because she's referring to one of the two women. Je veux Gladys. Non, elle est à moi. I want Gladys. No, she's mine. If you listen carefully, you'll notice that while before they were shouting Non, il est à moi, now they've switched to Non, elle est à moi. That's because earlier in the clip, it wasn't exactly clear what noun the pronoun il was replacing. So they used the masculine form il, which is the default. The second time around, however, they're very clearly talking about Gladys, who is a woman. So as a result, they have to use the feminine version, which is elle. You have to be careful with TV shows like this because they use lots of slang that might catch you off guard. Luckily, we made another video about popular French phrases you can expect to come across in TV shows. Just click on the card to keep learning.